there, Linda Artisani, Artisani Bookkeeping. So I know that a lot of people have been reaching out to me with questions about what do you do when your bank reconciliation is not correct. So you come in to reconcile, maybe you did some cleanup or fixing some things, and then you come up to something that's like this. You can, We can help you fix this. Now, I did a video, and I will put this in the blog post, about how to fix something that maybe became unreconciled, and it's a couple of clicks, and you can reconcile it, but... What if, as in this case, the transaction is just flat out deleted? I can't click here. I can't do anything. It doesn't do anything. I can click view, and you might have many of these, not just one, but I can click view, and you can see here's the details of the offending person who <laughs> deleted the transaction. It's my favorite little secret place I can find out who did things. So I hit show all, and I can see here that I was I deleted a deposit here, um, it was a deposit from Home Depot. I must have, well, maybe one of the guys went and bought a box of nails and then we returned a box of nails. They bought too much, too many nails. But the transaction had been deleted and for whatever reason I deleted it and it, it should be there because I did get refunded $50 from Home Depot for returning a box of nails. So how do I fix this? Like where do I even begin? I'm looking at this, this makes no sense. So. The easiest way to fix this, because it's completely deleted, is I would open another tab. Now, because it's a refunded, uh, dele it's a deletion of a refund, which is a deposit, I'm actually going to come over to here and I'm going to click plus sign. Actually, kind of come over here and I'm going to click the plus sign and I'm going to click bank deposit, open a new link. I'm going to come back to this other tab and go back to my reconciliation. Actually, I'll do it from where you get it because that's the way that you get it if you have the QuickBooks online. And I'm gonna open this back up. So here's the view and I can see the details of the transaction that I flat out deleted. And it's just gone. I hit show all, it gives me all the details I need and particularly this detail, I need to copy this. So now I've got the deposit open and I know it was deposited to Bank of America and it was received from Home Depot. And why do you want to have the two tabs open? Well, the tabs open will help you to go back to find the details. So I'm going to go here. I believe it was repairs and maintenance, but let's go back and see the account that it was in. It was repairs and maintenance 6260. So I'm going to duplicate what I did before because I want to put it back because I shouldn't have deleted it. Deleted it by accident. $50. Oh, I can't remember the date. So let me go back to the tab to see the date. It was 927.17. I'm going to make it 927.17. So I actually deleted something in a prior tax period, which is even worse. And I'm going to hit save and close. Did that fix my problem? Let's go check on it. Nope, it's still broken. How do I fix this? Well, I have to give kudos to my daughter for this little trick because what I used to do is I used to go, oh, it's 927.17, so I'm gonna scroll all the way back to 927.17. And she very nicely said one day when I logged in to help her do something, why are you doing that, mom, when there's a little filter here? I can put 927.17 to 927.17 here, hit the apply button, a button that, there's so many buttons, in fact, been working with Matthew and, and we see things he does things in a different way that I do and we're kind of like picking up tips which is why I actually wrote an article about mentoring um, that I'll put a link into as well because working with other people that do the same thing you do they, they have different approaches and not that one's better than the other but one may be faster so when you work with somebody and you mentor with somebody mentoring is sharing sharing is giving and it's it's a great thing to do if you know somebody that may be a vendor that uses QuickBooks and might be able to share a few tips and Let's, let's face it, we sit at a computer screen in an office all day. We don't get to interact with other people. It's kind of nice to be able to talk to somebody and, and share what you do. And especially like I'm on the East Coast, he's on the West Coast. So we actually share a lot of our information because we're not really competitors. So I'm going to come over here and I'm going to force the reconciliation, which is the same thing you saw in the other, other video. I'm going to hit yes. So now I've put the transaction back. I've re-reconciled it, so I actually went back in time and put it all back, which is one of the wonderful things about QuickBooks Online, which is why we love it. I'm going to hit reconcile again, and I'm going to come over to reconciling, and voila, it's fixed. Isn't that wonderful? So 
I ask my clients, because sometimes I get, I call them disaster files. I get a file that's a really big mess, and, and I'll say to them, did you not notice when you, re when you went to delete something that it was reconciled and it, there's a warning box? And then they always usually say, I didn't see anything that warned me that I was deleting something important. So I'm going to remove the filter here. I'm going to show you the warning box so you know. So I'm going to actually go back in here and try to delete the transaction we just entered. And here's the warning box. The, this transa the transaction you are deleting has been reconciled. Deleting your changes could put you out of balance the next time you try to reconcile it. Are you sure you want to delete it? So there's your warning. Um, if you see that box, don't delete it. If you need to fix something, fix it, then delete it and re-reconcile the new transaction that's right or better yet, open it up, open this up and fix it from here. So I'm going to say no, because I don't want to fix, I don't want to ruin what I just did and then come over here and edit it. Maybe it wasn't supposed to be repairs and maintenance. Maybe it was supposed to be another account. You can come right here and just change it and then you don't have all the issues of the, with the beginning balances. It's my helpful tip for today. I hope it helps you to stay in balance and have a great day. Thanks. Bye now.